Yeehaw! Welcome back to the Southern Stack, where life is too short to be serious. All right, we've got new items from Papa John's, but not super exciting. But hey, I know it's going to be good because cupped pepperoni is just good. It's delicious. It's like old world pepperoni. So we got the bites and we got the pizza. Not really a point to get the calzone. Um, we know what to expect with the calzone, right, folks? We do. Um, so let me, uh, I'm going to be interested in here. I'm going to put the bites underneath the pizza so I can actually hold the pizza. Um, I think that's the best way. If I did it on top, the bites would start falling. At least this gives them a little bit of a, a bottom place to kind of sit while you can look at them, get a view of them in the thumbnail, and uh, make it look fun, make it look pretty. So, got some greasy fingers here. My big box. See, I'm having trouble just with the box as is. So, uh, maybe scoot this over. And, uh, yeah, even with that, it's hard. But, uh, that is your thumbnail. And the bites are there, but maybe you can't see them. Maybe you can. We're going to eat a slice of pizza and probably a bite. Here's a bite. Um, your mozzarella looks like some marinara's in there. You get dipping sauce too, and some cup pepperoni. I want to eat one that looks a little bit better than that, so we'll eat this one. All right, so please subscribe, like, and comment on this video, and back to the middle focus. Here we go. Mmm. Just the flavor. The, the texture, just the greasiness of it. I know someone like uh, Dave Portnoy. He probably would say it's too greasy. And that's fine. He can say it's too greasy if he even tries it. He's He likes local places. But he'll, he'll, he'll do a chain every now and then. But he'll, he would probably say this is too greasy. It needs to be more crispy. I, I, I can think that's a valid point. But for what it is, I really love the flavor here. A little too salty, but again, really, really delicious. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. Um, I really like it, but again, a little too much, uh, too much grease there and too much salt. So, this thing is a little floppy but there you go looks like thin crust i don't know if that's how it's supposed to come or what but pepperoni all right and again just as a reminder this is app exclusive for a certain time you can do the research i'm not real sure when it will you know go beyond or not app exclusive but rewards member exclusive so I don't know when it, it'll be available to everybody, but who even orders pizza off of the phone or, you know, pizza walk in? You know, most of us have online accounts. We can log in and there you go. So anyways, we're going to try this out. Hmm. It's, it's good, but it's not as good as the bites. The bites definitely have a, a more favorable approach to the pepperoni. But maybe maybe one less slice of pepperoni on the bites would would make it less less salty. On here, you've got a nice chewy piece of pizza, cheesy, melty, good crunch from the pepperoni. I'm I'm not loving it per se, but it's pretty solid. For whatever reason, I thought the uh, thought the bites just tasted better.
This one just doesn't seem to have enough pepperoni for whatever reason. But it's good. I give it a... Mm, I'm going to give it a six and a half. I thought about a seven, but I'm really itching for more of that, what we got from the bites, which is weird because I thought that was too salty, but now we're just not getting enough of that on the pizza. Yeah, that leaves a lot to be desired. So again, six and a half for the pizza eight and a half for the bites and uh that is the review on the new papa john's cupperoni i'm wondering now you know should i have done the papadilla would that have been the perfect cupperoni treat or would it have been the in between between this one and the bites i don't know but if you intend on trying that let me know what you think and other than that i'll see y'all around yeah